Hi everyone, I am Liz Mercado, Independent Sensi Superstar Consultant. We are in a brand new season, our spring and summer 2018 season, and of course, I want to share with you guys today the new releases of our fragrance. So the way I do this is I smell the scents, I show you their colors, and I give you guys my personal review of what I think of them, and then I read you off of our catalog this description directly from Sensi. So let's not waste any time and get started. The first one is A is for apple. We know how the saying goes, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. The color is kind of like a Granny Smith apple color. It's kind of like a vibrant green. And I love the scent. I don't really like food scents, but I can handle fruity scents. And this one, it's really nice and fresh and fruity. And you can smell the apples. It reminds me of biting into an apple, which is kind of funny because you don't think that scents can actually make you feel like you're doing something. But Scentsy describes it as sweet tart Granny Smith and Macintosh notes offer a bite of pure apple bliss. So it's pure apple scent, very fruity, very nice. And of course, when you smell it, you're gonna feel like you're biting into an apple. The next one we have is a red color. It's accidentally in love. We've all been there, right? This one is a very nice, fresh citrus scent. I love it. And as you guys can see, this is not the first time I've smelled these. I actually got to smell them first time, first hand at World Tour Orlando. So I have smelled them before and it's kind of a good thing I smelled them before because the first time I smelled them, I actually cried with one of them. I'll tell you which one it is in a few minutes. But this was accidentally in love and it's a citrus scent. Sensi describes it as crisp, gingery, tangerine, and exotic palm fronds keep things clean and bright. And it does have a clean citrus scent. It kind of reminds me a little bit of coconut lemongrass, but more of that tangerine uh, citrus. The next one is All You Need Is Love. And this one's kind of a food scent. It's kind of a tannish color. This one has like an a little bit of a, um, kind of reminds me of like an amaretto. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's vanilla. But it's more of a food scent. Um, all you need is love. It's more of a food scent, it's more of a warm scent. The description says, whisper sweet somethings with coconut sugar, creamy vanilla, and a bing of cherry. I don't get the cherry in the texture, but maybe when you warm it, you get it. The next one is aloe water and cucumber. It's kind of a light greenish teal, kind of a light teal. And this one's actually our number one seller right now. And this one smells so clean. I love this one. It's so clean, it's so subtle. You can smell the cucumber. You can even smell the aloe a little bit. Like, I know aloe doesn't have like a huge strong scent unless you cut it so, but you can smell it in this. Like it's really nice and fresh, clean. The description says, aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, and pineapple nectar are oh so mellow. It's a very nice, clean uh, scent. This one is apricot vanilla. Apricot vanilla. And it's kind of like a peachy color, like an apricot light and this just has that warm southern apricot tree type of scent it kind of reminds me of my summers playing outside with my cousins and picking up uh, picking out apricot and um, peaches right off the tree and eating them it has that nice scent since he describes it as heirloom heirloom peach apricot and vanilla ice cream tempt fate and everyone else's and it's one of Heidi um, Heidi Thompson's favorite this season so this next one is the one that made me cry I hope that it doesn't make me cry today but it's blue hyacinth oh my gosh it's beautiful it's kind of a nice blue purplish color and there goes my eyes getting watery it's not the scent you guys it's the emotion and I've been with Scentsy for five and a half years, almost six, and I have smelled a lot of scents, and I love a lot of them. Um, 
but I've never gotten emotional with, with them. So when I smelled this scent and I started describing it, all that kept popping into my mind was my grandmother and her house. I don't know what it smells like. I don't know if it was a detergent that she used. I don't know if it was um, a perfume or a powder or something, um, but it really reminded me of her and it's really nice and floral. And if you don't know me personally, you just kind of found me on YouTube. My grandmother is 93 years old and she suffers from Alzheimer's and she's been battling Alzheimer's for almost, I want to say almost 15 years now. And she's at the point where she doesn't remember pretty much any of us. She doesn't remember me. She doesn't remember my mom. Um, so it's really sad. Um, still having them here on earth is a blessing, but it's really sad seeing them not remember you and you have all these wonderful memories of them and you want to spend time with them and they don't remember anything. So this scent brought back memories that I had as a child growing up at her house. So it's just the first scent that I've gotten emotional with and I still, even though I've smelled it a couple of times, still get teary eyed and want to just downpour. Can't even imagine when I actually warm it in my warmer, but it's a beautiful, clean, fresh floral scent. It's beautiful. I love this blue hyacinth um, scent. Sensi describes it as floral from heaven, pure blue hyacinth, and all about the flower power. So it's just pure floral. It's beautiful, guys. It's my favorite scent. The next one is caramel sugar cone, and it's kind of like a caramel color. You guys can tell off the name that it's going to be a sweet scent. It's very sweet. You can smell the caramel. You can smell like that waffle, that waffle cone feel. Kind of reminds me like of an ice cream shop a little bit. Um, very, very sweet. Sensi describes it as guilt-free, gooey caramel, vanilla sugar cone, and a touch of malt. So it definitely has that ice cream parlor feel. This next one is Darling Dahlia. It's kind of a purplish color. This one is very sweet and fruity. I can smell something berry. Like it's very, it's not a strong fruity scent, but it has like a hint of berries in, in there. And that's Darling Dahlia. And Sensi describes it as heirloom peach, bashful dahlia, and strawberry sweeten the deal. And it's one of our scent trends. Um, and if you haven't ever heard of our scent trends, scent trends are really good scents that you can mix with other scents to make your own kind of mixtures. So it's marked off as one of our scent trends. Um, which mean, um, and, our, and all of the scent trends this season contain the heirloom peach. So they all have that peachiness in common. The next one is Let's Get Punchy. It's kind of like a punchy looking reddish orange. This one <laughs> reminds me of a hot summer day sipping on Kool-Aid, like as a child, like come on, like this is just childhood memories. This whole new release science, a lot of childhood memories, but it reminds me of Kool-Aid, just pure Kool-Aid. And Sensi describes it as, stir up some fiesta-worthy fun with navel oranges, tropical cherries, and apple slices. So there you go. High C fruit punch, right? Um, the next one we have is Mandarin Splash. It's kind of an orangey color. And this one has Some, has some citrus, but it has some earthy scent. I kind of smell like tree bark. Like something earthy to tone it down. And that's Mandarin Splash, and it says, Mandarin goes rogue with a fresh layer of light woodsy notes. So there's that wood that brings it down. This one is Midnight in Curaçao. That's where I would want to be at midnight. It's kind of a purplish color. And this one, hmm. 
this one's a little bit perfumey. It kind of reminds me a little bit more on the fruity, perfumey side of Habana Vieja that we had from the Cuban collection. There's something in it. Maybe it's, I don't know, I can't pinpoint it, but it has something that's perfumey and kind of like tobacco flowery type. Sensi describes it as brazen notes of currant orange and Mirabelle plum sneaks out after hours. I don't know what Mirabelle plum is, so it might be something with that that kind of gives it that um, perfumey and tobacco-ness um, to it. This next one is Pineapple Pucker. It's one of my customers' favorites so far. It's bright yellow, and it has pineapple written all over it. It's very sweet. Yeah, that's what I smell is pineapple. Pineapple sweetness. It says fresh pineapple steals the show in this eye-opening tropical production. So it's just pure pineapple for you. Rainforest Bungalow. This one was kind of a surprise when I smelled it the first time. It's kind of a greenish color. Now, when I did my Bring Back My Bar January 2018 review, I told you guys I do not like fresh cut grass. This reminded me of it, which is not what I had pictured, but it's a really nice scent. It has that fresh grass and like dew in the morning and just outdoorsy scent. It's very nice and fresh. Not a huge fan, but I like it. It's really nice. Since he describes it as take the road less traveled through emerald palm frond, dewy lemongrass and aloe flower. The next one we have is sheer leather. And this one is a little bit like a tannish grayish color. And I really love this one. It smells like a man. You guys know I love my man scents. This one smells like a man. And it's subtle. It's more subtle than our weather leather. Weather leather is too strong for me. So Sensi describes it as slip into something more sensual like bergamot, a subtle hint of leather and sandalwood. And I love everything sandalwood. You guys know that. Every scent that has had sandalwood I have liked. I don't know why. I must like Santa one. This last one is white grapefruit. It's kind of a whitish, throwing to yellowish kind of color. This one is really, really citrus. It's really, really um, strong on the citrus side. It's pure grapefruit when you smell like when you smell it, and it's really sweet, really nice. And it's described as turn the other cheek with polished white grapefruit and a hint of fruit nectar. So there you guys have it, our, our new 15 releases for our spring and summer 2018 line. I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Hope you guys can kind of get an idea of what they smell like. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me. My information is in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more upcoming videos. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.